<laughs> Buy a house you can't afford. <laughs> so you get desperate. That's a which, good move. Good, which I found, good advice. But, yeah, and you got you got it. Mm, you gotta yeah. make this happen. Could you to, imagine going back to regular TV now though with all the freedom that you have? No. I no, can't no, right? I can't I can't even imagine going to the radio. Right. Fuck I just got in radio. trouble. I just got in trouble, right? So I have a show, it's on KPFK and they're all nice people. But you can't, there's, because they're a nonprofit, there's certain things you can't do. Like you can't over endorse. Like I had a candidate on, and you're not supposed to endorse. And I, I can't, I, 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 you can't go, hey, go to their website and donate. Mm-hmm. You can't say any of that stuff. So yeah, it's just that. I'm like, oh my so God. So how'd you get in trouble? What'd you do? So I did that. With who? Uh, so that guy, Jen Uger. Oh. He's running for that 25th. Uh, right. Dude, what the New York Times did to him was dirty. That was dirt. Who, I shouldn't say the New York Times. I should say that writer, whoever that writer is. It was the whole, but the, there was the LA Times. See, it was an unbelievable smear. But the, but the New York Times one was the one where they yeah, tried to they say pretended. that he was, that his that conversation with David Duke, where he was like, oh, of course you're not racist. It was as clear as day that he was joking. It's clear as day that he was being sarcastic. And so talking to David fucking Duke, yeah, the d- grand right. wizard of the KKK, and he's like, "Oh, you're not racist, of course you're not racist." And then they take that and they put it in quotes. He said to David Duke, "Of course, of course you're, you're not, not racist." That's right. So that's that's like Mr. Smith goes to Washington it's shit. It's dirty, but that, I, I couldn't believe that was the New York Times. That hurt. That one hurt. Because I was like, who the, oh, I, you, you think it's funny? Yes, I'm like, I the can't New York even Times con- is horrible. Oh, don't they say that. They are horrible. That's all I've got left. You don't, no, no. That's all I got You've got left. me, Joe. I got you. You've got me, you oh, got okay. Kyle Kalinske. Oh, I do, I do have Kyle. Right? I love Kyle. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I, saw, I saw your interview with Kyle. I love Kyle. I heard the I was, shit you we, said. We were talking yesterday. His, I heard uh, the shit you said. said good things about you. Oh, Always. did you? I didn't get that far in. Always. <laughs> I love you. I quit after you told him he was your favorite news show. Oh, you're, you're my number two. <laughs> oh, Is thanks. that better? I'll take it. <laughs> I think he's the most reasonable of all the political commentators, but you're a comedian right. and a political commentator. Right. I think you have a, you have a dual so purpose. So I have a special yeah, category. Yeah, well, you're funnier than him for sure. Oh, that's sweet. The, that's all I care about. He texted me yesterday. New York City was 68 degrees yes he's like what in the fuck is going on but then he's like i feel bad because i feel so happy because like seasonal <laughs> depression you know when it's sunny out and 68 degrees like yeah everything's great meanwhile the world's on fire yeah yeah oh it's whatever it's warm it is warm yeah no he's great uh, there's, there's that's the beautiful thing about having corrupt and dishonest media is that it opens a door for honest media yeah. like you and independent guys like yourself like Pac-Man, Kalinsky. It's, it's oh, easy. This, this it's quite easy, a few. It's easy to yeah. outdo them. And, and MSNBC or CNN or... But that, it really hurts hearing this, the freight from a guy I respect. The New York Times is horrible. That's always been what I trusted. I, I've always Me been, too. I, I know. It was ugh. It was tough. It was tough it, when, I, when I realized that the uh, mainstream news media is just the mouthpiece for the establishment when it really matters. They're for every war. Yeah. They're for every war. They're repeaters. The, how do we get into Iraq? They got uh, Judith Miller to uncritically put the whatever Dick Cheney told her on the front page. That's why they all they have aluminum tubes. Front page of the New York Times, and then Dick Cheney. So Dick Cheney tells Judith Miller they they have aluminum tubes. She prints it on the front page of the New York Times. Dick Cheney then goes on Meet the Press and said, "Look, even the New York Times is reporting this." Oh God! That's how they do it. And then Judith Miller gets a, she gets an on air job on Fox News after that. She got rewarded. There's that, and then there's probably also access to candidates access to top officials it's access journalism like if you don't if you don't give them what they want they don't give you access and this is sort of the game that they've always played right that's exactly right that that they have access and they they i've i've experienced it but what do you think why do you think they want to smear jenk i mean like because I, they see him as an enemy of the democratic party because he she wants to get money out of politics right so that's his big thing he has wolf pack Mm-hmm. And his whole thing is I don't take corporate money, and that justice Democrats they don't take corporate. So that's his whole thing. Right, is about getting money out of dem- uh, out of politics, and they want to keep money in politics. Because if you get money out of politics, their whole grift is over. Right, right. right. The you near know, Nancy, Nancy the Debbie Pelosi Washington is Shields not worth a hundred million dollars anymore. That's right. How does she get a hundred? How do you go bucks? from zero to a hundred million dollars as as you're in Congress? Well, you're a criminal. That's the, <laughs> that's what Truman said. Yeah, there's there's the only kind of people who get rich while in government are criminals. That's what Truman said. But there's like, isn't it some like there's forms of insider trading that are legal if you're uh, in in Congress that wouldn't be legal if you were uh, a regular citizen. I don't. I don't. I know that they don't have the the rules that they should. Right. I know that there, there, there's rules that I, I shouldn't say a regular citizen, but if you were like working for a corporation, there's rules like they're allowed to get 
information and influence in terms of like how they invest. Oh, money right. It, that's people. not right. Right. That's it's, it's, that's extra information yes. that I could get. Exactly. Yeah, that's it's right. Extra, and then they're allowed to get that information, and then they're allowed to use it for their own personal profit. Like somehow or another, that's not been stomped out. Yeah. And that was someone. There was a video, and I don't know if it's accurate, where someone was explaining how Nancy Pelosi made all that money, and I was like, if I watch this fucking thing, I'm going to stay up all night. It was one of those where, like, I can't watch any more of this. Yeah. Well, you have a hundred millionaire is the leader of the People's Party. Isn't well, that amazing? Not only that, like, what did you do? Did you sell hats? Like, where did you make that money? <laughs> what do you do? Do you make cars? So why do you think Nancy Pelosi impeached Trump but didn't impeach George <clears throat> Bush? I don't know. I'll tell you. Tell me. As Julian Assange revealed through WikiLeaks, uh, it was because Nancy Pelosi was told in 2002 that our government was torturing people. And she was a posi- person in a position of power. And the reason why the Republicans in George Bush administration did that was so now they've got Democrats complicit in their mm. crimes. And so she didn't tell anybody about it. She didn't launch an investigation. She didn't blow the whistle on this. So now she's complicit. So when George Bush, uh, uh, lo- when, so when the Republicans lose the House and she becomes leader and they go, you're going to impeach him, she goes, impeachment's off the table and nobody could figure it out. But nobody pushed her on it because we were just so glad we had a, a check on George Bush at mm. that time. Well, Julian Assange then reveals there's, a, there's the memo that shows that she was briefed in 2002 on their torture program, which makes her complicit in torture because she didn't do a goddamn thing about it. Did you see the interview that I did with Edward Snowden? Um, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw the first half. It was very interesting. Yeah, he, and dense. Nancy Pelosi came up. He, oh, yeah? It, it came up that she was one of the people that cleared and made it so that these cell phone companies have access to your data and can can spy on you and use it. The government can use cell phones and all all sorts of telecommunications, essentially video, your your uh, voicemail, emails, all that shit. All that all that shit can can get spied through. And there was a, it was very complicated. Like I don't I don't remember the exact thing the, 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 I don't remember ex- the exact scam. Like, but Pelosi was involved in it. There you go. I mean, they're all corrupt. That's the whole, that's the, that's kind of like the mission of my show is to remind people how we got Trump. People want to pretend that, uh, 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 corruption and lying started in January 2017. The Afghanistan papers just came out, Joe, that revealed that three administrations in a row lied completely 100% about Afghanistan from the day they took over to the day they left. Stuff like Donald Rumsfeld saying, we don't even know who the bad guys are. We have no idea who they are. Well, why are we there? Well, maybe because of the couple trillion dollars in rare earth minerals. I don't know. (laughs) You really think that? Maybe it's... (laughs) (laughs) We would go to war for minerals? Come on. That's we would, crazy. We would try to steal somebody's natural resources. Do we use upset at what a small story it was? 